So today I want to show you how Apple Cash functions and how you can utilize it, send money, and even receive money from other people. Now here on this channel, we've actually done videos about the Apple Wallet, the Apple Credit Card. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to keep on learning more about how to manage your money when it comes to utilizing these apps and these functionalities. Talking about the Apple Cash right over here, that is going to be the one that actually has a little bit of money in there. You can see it's $112.60. So if we click on here, it is going to bring up the Apple Cash card. Now you can see there's like some cool animation for that because we have money in the card. If we didn't, it would kind of just be blank. Um, you can see latest transactions. As of right now, I'm actually earning a lot of cashback bonuses because of the Apple credit card, which we've signed up for in the past. And then that gives us 2% back every time we spend money at places, sometimes even 3% back. If you don't remember how you got that money, you can click on there and it'll actually tell you where you got that cash back from. And that keeps you in mind of like, oh, that's how I got the money. Or if you received money from friends or family members, that will also pop up here as as well. You can see there's two different options here. We can learn uh, about requesting money and then we can also send money as well. So if we request money, we can type in the person's name that we want to request from. Now, keeping in mind that they do need an Apple device to be able to have this money sent over to you, as well as if you want to send money to somebody, you are going to need to make sure that they have an Apple device to be able to receive that money as well to go onto their Apple cash card. Now, if they do have an Apple device, but maybe didn't set up their Apple cash account, that's totally okay because once you send them that money, if they click through that process, it'll have them go through and sign up for that Apple Cash card. So that makes it really easy and not have to worry about how that functions. Now, we're in the Apple wallet right now, but if you are through text message, you can go ahead and also send it directly through a text message and I'll show you just how to do that in one moment. So we're gonna click on send here. And if we wanna send that money, we're gonna go ahead and type in the person's name, which I'll do here and then jump to that next screen. So I already know this person has an Apple uh, phone. So what we're gonna do is hit the next button on the top right uh, now that we decided who it's gonna be. And it's gonna ask how much we wanna send it. And it's gonna show you what's available. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, you know, for this example, choose $1 and you can see right there, it says send with messages. So that's where it's gonna be sent through and that's where they're gonna be able to click on to be able to have this sent. So what I'm gonna do is hit send with message. So it's gonna actually go ahead and take us to the messages with that person already. So if you have a thread, you're gonna just see it pop up in the thread. So you're gonna see here where it shows $1 on here. And then what we can do is just go ahead and hit that send button right over here. It's gonna actually ask us to double check to make sure we wanna be doing this so it's not just some random person taking your phone and doing this for themselves. So you're gonna double click on the side to do the pay. It is gonna have us do a face verification for that. And again, it's gonna show us the Apple Cash card and how much we're gonna be sending to this person. So we're gonna double click. And then now that person is being sent that $1. And you can see right now it's just pending because they haven't accepted it just yet but our cash total has gone down by that $1 amount. And if they don't accept it, we can go ahead and have that canceled by clicking in here. And then you can see with the pending, we can go ahead and cancel payment, or we can send it again if we wanted to, as well as the transaction ID information, if you actually needed that. Now we're gonna go into the settings for the Apple Cash Card. So you can see some of the backend things as far as how to actually add money in there outside of the Apple Credit Card, and how to maybe even send money to a personal bank account as well, that you maybe wanna have that money go back into maybe your checking account or savings account. But before before we do that, make sure you hit that like button down below if you're getting value out of this video. And if you want to support the channel, make sure you hit that thanks button down below to help us continue to make more content like this for everybody. Now, like I mentioned, we're going to go into the backend data. So when we're here in the Apple Cash Card, you're going to see at the top right, there's that circle with the three dots inside of it. If we click on here, it's gonna take us to this page right over here. So you can see an option that says add money. You can see a thing that says transfer to bank. Now I already have a bank on file, so that's where that money is gonna either go to or be added from if we choose one of those two options. So if we wanna transfer to our bank, we click on transfer to bank. It's gonna ask us how much we wanna transfer. Let's just go ahead and say, we wanna do $20. It's gonna tell us how much we'll have left over after the uh, fact over here. So we're gonna click on next. And it's gonna tell us right over here, we can actually go ahead and transfer instantaneously for a fee, or we can just have it one to three business days. You can see I actually have multiple accounts on here and that's also okay. So you can have different banks if you wanted to. So we're gonna choose the free option here. And then the transfer button at the top right pops up as you can see here. Now again, it's gonna do that verification for us just to make sure that it is us choosing to go through that process and not somebody who took our phone to go ahead and do this. So we're gonna double tap on here on the right and it's gonna go through and process that for us. And then you saw it takes a couple of days to go through, keeping in, keeping in mind that it is business days. So now our balance dropped to $91.60. So now if we wanted to add money, it's fairly similar. So we're gonna go in here, add how much we want, let's say $20. We can click on add. And then again, it's gonna ask us where bank, which bank we want to choose from. So right now it's actually on a certain bank account I don't wanna utilize. So if I click on that option, 
It's gonna show me the different banks that I can choose from. I can also add another payment method if I wanted to pull in from a different bank account. Um, so I can go through there and actually have that work for me depending on what I need. But as of right now, I'm not gonna to need to transfer any more money into this account. So we're just gonna go ahead and cancel that, but it's very similar to transferring back into your account. So the next step over here, you're gonna see it's gonna say accepting payments. We can automatically accept payments, which I think I would like to have done, but you can also do manual payments if you needed to as well. Uh, bank account right over here, if you click here, um, it shows you the bank account on file for you to be able to pull money from if you wanted to or send to. Um, obviously it just has this, that one option for now. Uh, you can contact Apple support if you're running into any issues. I haven't run into issues, but it is there for you. And then over here you can see card details. You can have your account number if you wanted to go ahead and buy something with this instead of using like a credit card or any other type of debit card. It says that it is in the Visa debit card. So just keeping in mind that. And then if you wanted to have a pin number on there as well, obviously you can change that. So that way you can utilize it. Some websites might require that pin. Um, the express transit uh, option is not something we utilize. So that is on the off right there. And then notifications, we have it on for transactions and then any daily cash that we get as well. If you don't want to get those notifications, you can just shut those off. And of course, having your billing address on there and then any verification ID that you might need. Um, and then of course, requesting transaction statements if you are somebody who needs to go through statements and look at those things, um, as well as the policy and terms and conditions for the Apple Cash card. So now we hop back over to the main page of the Apple Cash card. And you can see the latest transactions have updated to show the money that's being withdrawn to our personal bank account, as well as the person that we were sending that money to. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I actually do have some content where I actually teach you a little bit more about utilizing the Apple wallet as well as signing up for the Apple credit card. And I want you to check out those videos right over here so you can keep on learning and growing with your finances. My name is Dennis, and I want to help you in that next video.